It's story time with Uncle Bucky. How to Babysit a Grandpa by Gene Reagan, illustrated by Lee Wildish. I just saw this at the library and I thought, I got to get this and see what it says. Never read it, but it's a picture book. You get to see the pictures. How to Babysit a Grandpa. All right, let's see what this says. Babysitting a grandpa is fun, if you know how. When your grandpa rings the doorbell, what should you do? Hide. Good idea. You might wiggle and want to giggle, but don't yell, Grandpa! Not yet. Shh. How to stay quiet. Pretend you're a shark waiting for lunch. Act like a pirate spy. Be as still as a lion statue. As soon as your grandpa says, I give up, pop out and shout, here I am. When your mom and dad leave, pat your grandpa's hand and say, don't worry, they always come back. Then right away, ask him if he's hungry. Snacks for a grandpa. Ice cream topped with cookies, olives served on fingertips, anything dipped in ketchup, and cookies topped with ice cream. <clears throat> After snacks, it's time to take your grandpa for a walk. When it's cold, bundle up. When it's sunny, sunscreen up, especially the top of his head. Remember to grab his hand when you cross the street and remind him to look both ways. Now, what to do on a walk? Step over sidewalk cracks. Look for lizards, cool rocks, and dandelion puffs. If there's a puddle or a sprinkler, show him what to do. Good information. When you're back at home and have him shut his eyes while you get ready, and then how to entertain a grandpa. You somersault across the room, or you put on a scary face, or you can put on a scary play. Show off your muscles. You may want to have some extra tricks because grandpas always clap for more. a good audience. Pretty soon he'll want to join the fun, so play with your grandpa too. How to play with a grandpa. March with your drum and just give him a kazoo. Build a pirate cave and make sure you can both fit. Watch out for sharks in the water. Don't let your feet touch the floor. When your grandpa says, nap time, it's time for his nap. The best way to put him to sleep is to have him read a long book over and over and over and... Even if you're sleepy too, babysitters have to stay awake. While he naps, draw a picture for his fridge. Now, what to draw for a grandpa? A pirate shark battle. Your favorite dinosaur. You and your grandpa splashing in a puddle. Then... Wake up your grandpa. You might want to try lifting him with your muscles. Tickling his nose and his toes. Singing on top of old Smokey softly, then louder. Then louder. Now ask, will mom and dad be home soon? Your grandpa will look at the clock and say, yikes, soon, very soon. Good babysitters can't leave messes, so turn on some bouncy music and get to work. When you hear your mom and dad 
grab your grandpa's hand and pull him behind the couch. Show him how to be quiet. Say, just check how to stay quiet and whisper, see grandpa, they always come back. Now comes the hardest part, goodbye time. How to say goodbye to a grandpa. Surprise him with the picture you drew. Give him a hug and a kiss and a hug and a kiss and a hug and a kiss. And ask, when can I babysit you again? The end. That's it. There they are hugging and kissing. And that was it. That was a cute little story. Maybe I'm finding it personal a little bit. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back again. I'll miss you.